Hey everybody, we are at Back Alley Pickers in Newland, North Carolina, and this store is full of amazing items. It is by far my favorite video, and I have another surprise. Hey. Hey, Mom. How you doing? Good. Welcome to Back Alley Pickers. <laughs> Thanks. We're going to look around and see what we can find, aren't we? Yes, we're All going right. to shop till we drop. <laughs> All right, here we go. So Mom's going to be in this video coming up, but I wanted to show you this store. Oh my goodness, we've been here before, and I tell you, every time I go, it just gets better and better. They have painted furniture, they've got antiques, unique fonts, they've got a mix of new pieces. So we're just going to look around and soak it all in. I'll list the store's address in the description box below. And if y'all have been following me, you know I love Shabby Chic and this store is just full of it. So many beautiful items, great inspiration for decorating. love those pink pillows and she has fantastic prices on these items and these are like one-of-a-kind fonts here's a chippy painted dresser oh and I like the lace doilies This was such a great idea. So they took an old baby shoe and they made it fancy. And this is a good mantra. We all need to pick daisies, be happy, and enjoy the little things. And I want to let y'all know I was at the store last week, so they had a lot of Easter or spring themed items out, but you know, you could use this all summer long. And I really like this. So for $32.95, it's a vintage rabbit. It was in a chocolatier shop in Chicago, displayed in their window until 1965. Y'all know I love anything with birds on it, and they have tons of that coming up. Isn't this shop just dreamy? I love the way they style everything. Oh, and this bunny's only $12. He did have a little crack on his ear, but you know what? Who cares? Look how cute he is. And y'all know I love the dishes. They have tons of beautiful dishware here. We're going to see some Fire King dishes coming up. And I had never seen one of these, so they've got it labeled as a vintage vanity box. So you know we got to take a look. Perfect place for our secret papers, right? <laughs> or at least our remote controls. And yes, this store smells just as good as it looks. They've got tons of hand poured soaps and candles. I want y'all to comment below and let me know what your favorite item is in here. It's okay, you can have more than one because y'all know I always do. Okay, beginning of my favorite. So it's an antique hand-painted enamelware table. They've got it here for $175. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't that be perfect for your farmhouse vibe or country vibe? This table is truly a work of art. And that's a metal top.
And here's a vintage metal rocker. Do y'all remember these? My grandparents had these, and it was always so much fun. You could spring those chairs up and down. <laughs> Loved it. And this is just the beginning of all their beautiful baskets here. Oh, I love that teapot. And look how she just put some flowers in it, and it just makes it extra special. And y'all know I love purple and I love dishes, so this just makes my heart happy. This serving plate was only $6.50, and this store is so much fun. I'm telling you, I smile the entire time I'm in here. I, I just get giddy. I can't wait to just look at everything. Donna is the owner. She is so sweet, so nice. I can't believe I ran across another one of those antique cake keepers. This one's $26.50. Oh, so cute with the flowers on it. And y'all, I think I Dream a Genie would have loved one of these. It's an antique bottle with roses for less than $20. So fancy. And here's an antique framed picture for less than $40. And this is so sweet. It looks like it's beauty shop day for that dog. <laughs> looks like he loves it. And in my book, this is so true. It says, and in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. Y'all will have to let me know. Do you feel that way? And I love this vignette. It kind of gives you, again, that country farmhouse vibe. And she has some of the most beautiful painted furniture here. So here's a farmhouse cupboard, a little over $200. I love those little wooden door closures. And happiness is homemade. That is so true as well. Here's a vintage iron hen for $18.95. And I love these old bowls. So this one was $26. And you know it's got some age on it, but that's why I love it. And here's a vintage chicken statuary. And look how they've draped greenery over a ladder. I'm telling you, just everywhere you look in here, it's magical. I thought this was so funny. So it's a tailgate bench. <laughs> They've actually taken the tailgate of an old truck and made a bench out of it, less than $200. What a unique find, right? And here's a vintage bacon press. And this thing was really heavy. $15.95. Oh, and I love this old pie tin. Mellow Rich Mrs. Smith's Pie. $12.95. And isn't this a clever idea? So I showed this old grater. They turned it upside down, put flowers in it, and hung it on the wall. Love that. And here's some more of the vintage mixing bowls. This one's only $32. And I thought these dish towels were so adorable with the peeps on them, $5 each. And here's a set of four vintage daisy glasses. You got all four for $22. And here's a gift for that friend who has everything. So it's a little squirrel salt and pepper shaker. I think those are so cute. I wouldn't mind having those. $14. And there's some more vintage salt and pepper shakers coming up. I want to look at this old egg carton. So $9.95. And I gotta tell y'all, eggs cost about that where I live. But I thought this was really interesting. Oh, and I really like these yellow and blue Westinghouse containers. You got all three for $45. And who remembers an old crank coffee grinder? I'm telling you, you can find anything in here. And it just keeps going. So she's got tons of individual booths, and I'm telling you, one's just as gorgeous as the other.
Y'all know I love wreaths, so this pepperberry wreath caught my eye, less than $40. And they had tons of, like I said, Easter or bunny themed items here. And this is a shout out to my hubby, A True Love Story Never Ends. I'm telling you, everywhere I looked, I was like, oh, look at this, look at that. So I truly, truly hope that y'all can come by here if you're close enough or if you can make a day trip. Isn't that picture everything? And they have these silk roses. I just love just the contrast in color with the dark roses with all the creams and whites. And here's an antique chippy planter, a little over $100. I wouldn't do a thing to that. Love, love, love everything about it. And they're just so creative here. So this is a homemade welcome banner. And look at this old bed with the quilt on it. That just takes me right back to my grandmother's. And again, I'm telling you, you got to look everywhere in here. Aren't they clever the way they use the ladders and the old crepe vines? Here's an antique low boy dresser for $175. And I love Tiger O. Got just the movement in it. Very unique. And these bunnies were probably on my list of favorites, so they're cast iron bookends for $40. And I know some of my viewers liked a needlepoint, so I wanted to show you all this sweet little picture, $7. Here's some more of her vintage bowls. The smaller one's $16. And let's see, the larger one's $34.95. And I'm telling you, there's one coming up that's got a lid on it. Oh, I've got to go back and get it. <laughs> I've just got to go back. Let's see, this buffet is $225. Oh, and the cement bunny, $10. And you know I love the birds and the bird eggs. These little nests were only $22. Oh, sweet little rooster for 6 and they've got them displayed in this vintage concrete basket for $17. is not this store fun? Oh my goodness. I'm so glad y'all came with me. Here's a vintage cabinet, $175. I think it's worth every penny. I love the fretwork on the front. I love that it's a smaller size. And who out there remembers one of these? This was such a throwback for me. So it's a vintage pencil sharpener for $10. And y'all remember, you pick the size of your pencil and you grind it down there. And the teacher picks somebody to empty the shavings. <laughs> Those were the days, right? And here's a vintage hall tree for $195. And I gotta tell you, mom got tired. <laughs> So she's coming up. 
think this I, thing sits pretty good. Oh, good. Are you tired, Mom? Oh, yes, honey. I'm already rest. <laughs> it's resting in it. Oh, she's so funny. I think I get tired in my older days. <laughs> Ain't nobody old. She is just so funny. I love taking her with me. <laughs> I never know what she's going to say or do, and you're going to see that coming up. I love these large Lexington chairs, and they came with the cushions. And I hope you can see that's the most beautiful blue hutch. And I think that was less than $400 as well. Oh, and more bunnies. This one looked older. I'm not sure if it was or not. $27. And I love this buffet. $395. It's up there on my list, but I gotta tell you, my favorite's still coming up. Oh, $30 for this middle lamb. And this store is so much fun because the items change in here daily and I'm just showing y'all just a tiny sample of what they had on the day I went. Here's a primitive cabinet, $250. Oh, wouldn't that be perfect for your kitchen? And I didn't get a price on this stool, but I had to show y'all I love that needlepoint work, just the colors in it. And she has some gorgeous lamps and lighting here. Oh, look at that hammer design. And yes, I like the shade with it. Y'all know me in the shades, but I like that shade. And here's a canister set, $55. I think that's perfect with that blue hutch. Here's a white vase, $20. Perfect with those flowers in it. That's exactly what I'd use it for. And look at that mirror. Oh, it's so dreamy. And there's another mirror coming up that's just, ooh la la, fancy. Oh, and look at the colors on these napkins. Oh, so dreamy, so pretty, very shabby chic. Here's a sweet little rose pot for $15. I think that'd be perfect in your bathroom or beside your bed. And I gotta tell you, so listen to this coming up. Mom's sitting there. The owner of the store is trying to get in the back door. Am I supposed to let her in? <laughs> yes, if you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> Mom's so funny. Mom is so crazy. She's like, do you want me to let her in? <laughs> She's so funny. So mom got up and let her in. And look at these purple pillows. Oh, loved everything about them. $20 each. And here's some ceramic canisters. I think you got both for $30. And here's a painted china cabinet. I think this was less than $400. I'm telling you, if you're looking for unique furniture, oh, you see mom, she's still sitting there. <laughs> she was just worn out. She has a little bit of a cold, but I think she's getting better. She's on the mend. So I found this sign and I held it up for mom. I said, mom, this is from me to you. I love you more than biscuits and gravy. <laughs> and that's a whole lot. Oh, and look at this blanket. I'm telling you, so many unique items here. This mirror was one of my favorite finds. It's only $75. Oh, I love everything about it. I don't know where I'd put that. I need to go back and get that. <laughs> I love, love, love that. This was another one of my favorite pieces. So it's an antique chest of drawers with the mirror on top. It was only $129.
you know, that might be nice in your bathroom. You could store some linens in it. You could put your perfume bottles on the top. And y'all, this was my favorite piece, hands down. I love, love, love this. I don't know why I didn't buy it that day. I get all busy filming. So nobody out there watching this get that. I'm going to try to call her and see if I can purchase that and go back and get it. I love everything about it. And she has so many great gift ideas. I think this must have been marked down. It said $8.99. And it says, it's a good day for a good day. Any day is a good day for a good day, right? And she has tons of bed linens here. Y'all have to let me know, which one would you like? If I had to pick, oh, it'd be hard to pick. Probably the ticking. I like the stripe, the gray and white stripe. And I think these are all queen size with two shams, $130. And here's some more of her fancy pillows. I think these were $28.99. You know I love grays and creams. And y'all, this is apparently a French bunny rabbit, so we'll say bonjour, lapin. I could be saying that wrong, but hello, bunny rabbit. And here's some more of their zipper pouches. I love just the spring flowers, $8.99 each on those. And look how they used a burlap tablecloth. I love that, just the texture on it. Oh, and this sweet picture frame, so fancy. $14.99. And look at these rugs, $27.99. And they're really a good size rug. I love all those colors. I'm not sure which one I pick. I think they're all so pretty. Maybe the blue. Yes, I love this sign. This is my happy place. Definitely this store is my happy place. I love this lamp with the blue and the white. It just looks like an old crock. Oh, and here's an enamel sieve. I didn't get a price on that, but you know I love anything blue and white. And these bunnies were another one of my favorite finds, so they're from the 1950s. You got all three for $40. I think they were made in Japan. And here's a letter holder for $20. this picture look at that frame and oh just so sweet so we're gonna go back through her store and this building that she's in I think it's over a hundred years old the floors are a little bit creaky but they had music playing so I didn't want to be copyrighted but you get the gist and here's some brand new iron skillets and this is going into the bathroom it says hello gorgeous <laughs> does that just make you feel good and here's some more tea towels the best therapist has fur and four legs and this booth had like antique European pieces. So they've got these wall sconces, $99 for both. And this, oh my goodness. So it's an antique Eastern European hand-painted armoire, a little over $800. Very unique, very different. I was really drawn to this. I love the hardware on it. Y'all have to let me know, do you like furniture like this? You know, that'd be one of a kind piece. That'd be fun. Again, if you had like this huge hallway, you could put, put that at the end and put your, all of your linens in it, all of your beautiful quilts. Here's a set of four early 1900s hand-painted vintage chinoiserie chairs. You got all four for $395. And you know, it's just very unique. You're going to be the only one that's got that.
Here's another early 1900s piece. They've got it listed as a hand-painted chinoiserie chest of drawers for $895. I'll have to say, I think I'm pretty eclectic with things I like. They've got this listed as an antique vanity entry table for $299. This was another one of my favorite finds. <laughs> I don't know if we're keeping count, but I'm up there with the list of favorite finds. And I wasn't sure if these eggs were decoupaged or actually painted. They're $2.50 each. And look at this fabulous vanity mirror for only $38. Do y'all mind if I add that to my favorite finds list? <laughs> I'm going to add that. Here's some of those vintage salt and pepper shakers. I think they were $14 to $16 per pair. Okay, this is hands down my favorite find here. It's an antique dresser slash buffet with the mirror, $795. I don't know where I'd put that. I absolutely love, love, love that piece of furniture. I think it kind of matched that mirror that I saw up front. That actually makes my heart race. I love everything about it. Y'all, I have to let me know, do you like furniture like that? Oh, that just makes me so happy. And here's some more of her pillows for $20 each. And again, I did go to the store right before Easter, but these would be perfect for taking you into the spring and the summer. Oh, here's some metallic bunnies for $22. And this looks like me and my husband. I'm like, come on, come on, we gotta look at this. <laughs> Oh, that's me and him exactly. And this mirror is so ooh la la fancy. I did not get a price on this, but look how dreamy this mirror is. Oh my goodness. I love that. I love, love that. And here's some antique pictures, $12 each. Oh, and I like this vase for $16. Here's a large vintage glass jug for $75. And I love how they put the faux forsythia in it. And it perfectly matches the wreath. And this sign is just so me. So it's a metal sign, $20. And it says, and into the garden I go to lose my mind and find my soul. And y'all, here's those Fire King dishes I was talking about. I love just that light green color. Would that be a beautiful spring or summer table we'll set with those? And I love the idea of putting all your white milk glass vases on your mantle. I mean, what a statement. Here's an outdoor cart. I think that says 175. And this was a great find. So it's a 1940s brush and mirror combo set with the original box, only $50. It's in amazing condition to be that old. Look at this. I bet that was quite a gift for someone back then.
I want y'all to leave me three purple hearts below if you've enjoyed this video. I have loved, loved, loved everything about this store, so it definitely gets three purple hearts from me. Here's a lawn hanging basket. And she's got some more baskets coming up. I promise to show you those. And y'all know I love these pictures with the bird's nest. And here's another bunny pillow, $16.99. Green throw, fifteen dollars. Look at this vignette, isn't that gorgeous? Antique chippy dresser, two hundred and ninety-five dollars. I really like these wooden swans. These emerald green pillows caught my eye for $19.99 each. And I thought this was cute, so for $40 bucks you could get the vintage flower cart and it comes with the pansies. Oh, and I like this bird cage with the eggs, $22.50. And I thought this was so clever. So someone's put their old metal bed on the porch. You know, in the South, they had sleeping porches. Did y'all ever have one of those? And here's some more of their bunnies. I think these were newer pieces. Oh, and I love those bluish green eggs. I think you got all those for $18. I love this so much, I had to buy one of these tea towels, and I think it was maybe $10. I love the strawberries. I love this picture with this little boy and his bunny, and I love how she put the picture inside a larger frame, and I'm like, well, what's this handle sticking out? Y'all look, it's the ringer part of a ringer washer. <laughs> And you know, we've been talking about that in some of my past videos, but what a throwback. My little grandmother would put her clothes through there and get all the water wrung out. Oh, I bet laundry day was rough back then. Here's some more of those baskets, and I just love the way she displayed them on an old ladder. And look at this sign, so $36. It says, the hurrier I go, the behinder I get. <laughs> that is so me. Oh, and I really like that picture with the dogwoods. And I thought these were sweet. It says, a sorrow shared is but half a trouble. A joy that's shared is a joy made double. And home sweet home, you know someone took a lot of time to make those. And I think the centerpiece on this table is just everything. I love just the inspiration that they give us at this store. And they've used a middle piece of garden art as their vase. Isn't that a clever idea? Here's a painted metal folding tray for $29. And here's a fancy green desk for $299. So I hope y'all had fun going with me today. Just something different from the ReStore. We'll be back at the ReStore again soon. And again, I'll list this store's address in the description box below. 
And I wanted to end with this song I found. You know, it's just so simple. Make today count. But it means so much. I want y'all to get out there and do something. Whatever it is today, make today count. Thank y'all so much for going with me. And until next time, come go with me today. Bye.